my art cart might be a mess. However, I am the queen of the dead marker collection. Hello there. <laughs> Now most of these genuinely are dying out. It's usually the same type of colors too. Yellows, yellows don't stand a chance with me. None, never. Warm tones, earth tones. I just got the Kala series like within last year dying and now I'm working on killing these. The cool tones are actually about to die. <laughs> but the refills are here, so relax. I currently have 24 out of the 51 colors. Oh, who, who did send this to me, but this is not a sponsored video, so no worries. You already know I'm gonna tell you what's up. I think we should go over how to refill them though. That's important. So out of the packaging, this is what it looks like. There are 16 milliliters of ink. That's pretty crazy. I think Copenhagen only has like 12. Get it, oh, who, who. I already used this one, so it's not full. <laughs> So if I do this correctly, you'll be able to see that on the bottle, on here, it shows you what colors it is in this series and in the next. So Honolulu, it's R18, and the O word that I cannot pronounce, it's E494. So the refills are specifically for these four series. Uh, Honolulu, the O word up there, Molokai, and the Kala series. I don't think I'm pronouncing any of these right, but that's fine. It also comes with instructions just in case, you know, I don't do a good job explaining. Y'all know that's not my forte. I'll, I'll keep trying though. I'll never give up. <laughs> so it's got a corkscrew cap. This prevents leakage. And you know it's good because I'm struggling to open it for a second. <laughs> it's super secure. No worries, right? <laughs> And it's got the extra long needle. Okay, so all you really gotta do is screw that back up so I don't spill nothing, right? <laughs> um, you match the ink refill to the marker. So the one that I have right now is YR4. I'm gonna grab the actual marker that says YR4, right? Let me, let me show you my credentials. Boom, YR4. So you take, you can do one of two ways. Technically, do you see? This marker is not dying. She is alive and well, but we're gonna do this anyway for you. Um, so you know, I'm really out here proving that this thing is not gonna leak because I'm struggling to take this cap off, my God. <laughs> we just eye drop the ink directly onto the nib. That is quite literally it. Do it to both sides, that's it. The second way is that you remove the nib with some tweezers. Did I use tweezers? No, but I'm a hooligan and you're better than me and you're gonna directly pour the ink into this. Just remove the nib and pour it in. And then that's it. Again, this marker is juiced up. She did not need any help, so I didn't do it, but you guys get the gist, right? Hey, are the refills good? Yes. Are they the colors that I needed to be refilled? No, we make green girls, green skin, crazy hair, red eyes, y'all. Y'all, none of the markers that I need refilled are actually making the list. Maybe later on they'll come out with it, but for now, nothing's getting refilled for me. But let me show you what I've been working on. You know when you make a sketch and it ends up looking so good that you get obsessed? Y'all know this is a sketch because look at the left of her. That is a spooky face. Like the, the two girls on the side, yeah. This page was never supposed to make the light of day, but they look so good, like I have to show it. I'm. I love Pamela Isley. Now I know that she's in green skin or you can have her in the regular one, but I don't know which one I like more. It's so tough, but I have always been a fan of Poison Ivy. I'm such a nerd for her. Honestly, the boob window will always be like the number one thing. However, my favorite thing right now is the dot dot nose when you have like two holes and you slap it and call it a nostril i adore that so much so like let me show you i understand that i could definitely just draw the nose and not the face to accompany it like we don't need that we don't i acknowledge it but here i am doing the most just for you that's my typical nose that we draw right why i'm continuing and making eyebrows throwing in an ear because i'm wild like that right even a neck. You're welcome. You're welcome. <laughs> I've been watching com I've been reading comic books more. And one of my favorite things that I don't know why I don't ever incorporate is that they just do like this little dot dot for the nose. Two little nostrils. The little holes. That's it on the face. And I eat it up. And I think it looks so good. I think it transforms the face. I'm gonna finish making eyebrows for you because you're welcome. But <laughs> look how different these faces are. All because of the nose. I like my typical nose. I will keep her. But dot dot, I think we need to have her in our lives now. 
it speaks to me on like this spiritual level. I don't, I am definitely a fan. So I guess I'm just trying to say, be on the lookout for the dot dot nose because she's making her appearance. And I think it looks so good. It all, I feel like I look like a comic. This looks comic-ish and that is like the best. I'm really excited to see where this goes. And I really like the idea of like one little ivy leaf covering her eye. I don't know why we need her to be visually impaired. Also the black on the green, it's really doing it for me. This is actually my favorite one that we've made, but um, I love the Gotham City Sirens, her, Harley Quinn, and Catwoman. If I could, I would draw the three of them interacting. I would do comics about them because I've made them when I was younger, about them escaping prison together and living together. And Jinx and Blackfire in Teen Titans. I used to think about them too. I thought about gender bending her. It's really not about her. I just want to draw like bulbous abs and pectorials and whew, shoulder muscle. And I just, <laughs> I just want to see rippling biceps. Actually, I just want to slap a piece of ivy over his nipple, but that's... <laughs> That's just me. <laughs> Sometimes I look at her design and I'm like, mm, we could do more. And I want to play with it, but like, like there would be two different sets of outfits, like Pamela Isley, the scientist, and then the supervillain, Poison Ivy. Y'all, the moment I made this, I was like, beautiful. But then something in my brain started twitching. If I could redo this, right, I would create her less like, look how round and smooth it is. Like, there's... It's not messy at all. She looks put together. Like, even the pen strokes. Like, there's not... This is so... Like, I like it. I do, actually. I do like it. But, like, part of it is, like, mess it up a little. Heesh. You know what I mean? I can appreciate the put-together style. I think that it's good to look like a finished work. I think we just did it too much in this one video. I think they all... At no point was I coloring outside the lines. I color like a three-year-old on a sugar rush, but that's not, <laughs> that's not what's happening here. And I, we've got to rectify that just a little bit. You know what I mean? You know, if it's too put together, we're not going to think that I'm me. <laughs> so here we go. We've got the face. Now we've got to have the jagged. We were too smooth. We were like sedimentary rock. We were too smooth with it for the hair, but now we've got to have sharper angles. We've got to almost triangular, if you will. Give me angles. We gave her eyebrows there. I swear we weren't doing that earlier. No. No, we weren't. <laughs> I mean, a little bit, a little bit. That's fine though. No eyebrows here. You know, I low key want a character that's like, save the planet. I love mother earth, um, screw the humans. But I think I would want it to be a trio and I want it to be all boys. Like they're, and they're a little radical, but they're not like, they're not plant in the DNA, you dig? They're still human, but they've definitely turned their back on human society. They're, they're over it. They're in the woods. They're nature boys. You know what else has been like catching my eye? Long necks. Like I think, I think I want to give girls more neck. Now I tried to do this before and I've got comments like, why are the necks so long? And I'm like, is nobody else getting the serotonin from this? No, just me. I have the chemicals. Okay. <laughs> but I think it is so nice. I, ah, that's a look. Give the girls the neck. And I think as long as we don't completely ink this out and we don't erase it completely it'll look better yes look how good that turned out yay yo i forgot to give her a comic book nose what <laughs> what <laughs> we did all that talking about slap two two dots on her face call it nostrils oh it transforms the face i said she has a regular degular nose but that's fine because she cute she cute she's rocking it Maybe next time I'll remember. Probably not, but maybe. I am so problematic, y'all. <laughs> because we're doing this skin and all I want is to grab a green marker and shade over it. Like, what? And if I do that, I'm going to wish it was the, the other color. I am. <laughs> Man, you give me options and I want to do both. I don't want to choose. This green, I don't know what my problem is because it's so dark. Oh, this is not the same color. This is not the same color. I just... But I'm using it like it is, so that's, there's that. 
I am straight up bugging because this is not this is not the same color orange either. I swatched and I'm still grabbing the wrong marker somehow. How is that possible? <laughs> what? This is like the this is actually giving Kim possible. I think that this is more her shade of orange. I mean, I'm not mad at it though. I'm not mad at it though. I think it still looks good. You know, we drew this so that we could be more messy, but I'm not seeing the messy just yet. I'm not. <laughs> I'm actually seeing the opposite of messy. What? Okay. You know, I'll just wait till the end. Okay, outlining. And maybe, maybe here we'll get crazy. Maybe this is where we get a little wild. Captain Insano, uh-oh. Probably not, though. Let's just... I genuinely hope nobody's out there like, get messy, because if we're, we're not, we're not going to do it. <laughs> Have you guys like ever instantly hated something? The hairline, the, the, the little things in the middle of the hairline, that is, I hate that. <laughs> Too late to go back now though, so. And maybe if we do a darker shading, it'll look less impossible, but... Say what you want, I actually like it. It's very strange because I will sit here and tear down a drawing, but I'm doing it out of love. Like I like it. If I'm if I'm nitpicking, it's cause she's got my whole attention. You might not want it, but she's got it, you know. <laughs> I actually wish that this had come with a full body. Or at least half. I I tend to draw them like either portrait size to the belly button or to like the, the end of the thighs right below the right above the knee i wish that she had more because this is turning out very very beautiful not as messy as i had hoped but i've built the bridge i've gotten over it the forgiveness is in my heart no worries and just when i think she can't be any more beautiful i freaking love poison ivy I need to work on poses, so maybe I'll do, I'll practice, but I'll draw the Gotham City Sirens. Because the three of them are so cute, and I think that we're done with this young lady. I actually do have the urge to give her eyebrows, even though she looks so good without them. But if you put them in the right spot, they can enhance the face, you know what I mean? But if you put them in the wrong spot, then I've ruined her because she looks good without them. So she's not getting them. No eyebrows. I'll see you guys next time. Bye!